Hey, what's up, y'all, and welcome back to another Alternative Factuals video. It's been a while. I've been very busy because you already know I did a Kickstarter for a project that I'm working on for, you know, my production company, something that's going to be out really soon. And uh, yeah, just wrapping that up. But today I wanted to actually bring some attention to someone who I've kind of brought onto this channel in terms of what they're doing for the comic book community as well as for the black community when it comes to the creation of black characters. Now, I've talked about Chayoma Volume 1 initially. Uh, this is like a little while back. Well, they're making a Volume 2 on Kickstarter. And I want to use this video as an opportunity to show you the graphic novel or the animated graphic novel of Volume 1 so you can see what you're getting into if you choose to support the Kickstarter. I would highly recommend it because one, Peter Daniel, who is the CEO and the founder of Pettis, you know, Entertainment, who creates Chayoma, has done all the right things in terms of kind of following through the right channels, making a website, you know, having a team of nothing but black people, black artists, black creatives, and also making sure he raised the money to tell black stories about African inspired fantasy, sci-fi action, and these crazy epic stories. So he went through all the right channels. So I'm always gonna support independent comic book creators who are going to actually, you know, go out there and kind of practice what they preach. So I'm always gonna support and I wanna take this opportunity to show them, uh, show you guys basically what it really means to be a comic book creator, especially an indie comic book creator. So volume one of Chayama was very interesting because it followed the story of a young woman who emerged from a clan basically of pure magic and what they would I guess use witchcraft, but molded into a powerful instrument of annihilation. Now the interesting thing about her character is she eventually develops and seeks redemption for a lot of the things that she did. So if you saw the video that I did covering Chayama volume one, or if you somehow supported the Kickstarter and you read the graphic novel, you saw that she was out of control in terms of her powers as well as her physical prowess. She was extremely powerful. Now, she's seeking redemption guided by prophecies, and she's looking to kind of change some of the mistakes that she made and is embarking on this super great journey in terms of redeeming her character, but also bringing redemption for her people. So. This is what makes the first chapter interesting. Well, the first volume interesting. I say chapter in terms of the chapter for her character, but this is what makes the first volume interesting. And I'm going to use this time to just show you what the motion graphic comic looked like for volume one to get you guys more familiar. And then in the next video, I'll kind of talk about what volume two's guiding idea is going to be, but also how you can support and what this means for people that look like me and you. So enjoy. East Africa, also known as the Great Lakes region, home to many great lakes and kingdoms, each with their glory and legacies. But none surpassed the glory and greatness of the Kitara Empire. Founded by Ruhanga, father of the Batimbuzi and Bachwezi dynasty, a dynasty of demigods. The era of the Batimbuzi was an era shrouded in mythical tales of demigods and sorcery. This is the story of a girl child. No royalty is traced to her lineage, but mysterious and extraordinary signs unfolded after her birth. She showed tremendous abilities from a young age, abilities that would make her a coveted prize for the Jangura. At the time of her birth, Kitar had gone through a significant political change. The era of the Batimbuzi and Bachwezi had come to a decline. The era of demigods had become a thing of the past. Only memories of them remained spoken of. A new era had begun. This era ushered in a new political dynasty called the Babito Dynasty, with its ruler called the Omukama. 
a new military structure was established, the Jangura. The Jangura, most feared and exalted sect in all the empire. The Jangura traveled around the empire seeking those who were worthy to be amongst their ranks, those with special abilities to fulfill their vision. In the open, Janguras acted like an elite force, but beneath the shadows, there was something much more. The Janguras learned of young Chayoma's abilities, so she was especially recruited. It was a thing of joy, pride, and a great privilege to be a member of the Jangura. Under the watchful eyes of the Nidiyama, the high priestess of the Jangura, Chayoma excelled in all her physical training above her peers. She became faster, stronger, invincible. A mistress of the dark arts as she has bestowed the mark of the Jangula. Sorcery. Even Nidiyama saw far greater qualities in young Chayoma beyond being a mere warrior. The ancient one Oin was displeased with the conduct of the Jangura as they were soon to reveal their true nature. As he has unfolded, Chayoma carried out the prime objective of the Jangura, eliminating its enemies, or so she was led to believe. No mercy. Slave bound only to her duty. Nothing could stand in her way in the battlefield. Numbers were no match for Chayoma. Settlements, villages, were not spared from Chayoma's wrath. All for the glory of the Jangura. Ah, yes. Today is a great day indeed. Today we mock the destruction of our enemies, those who thought they could defy the will of the Jangura. Never forget your sacred duty to the Jangura. Your mind, body, and soul solely belongs to the Jangura. You exist and die because of the Jangura. Chayoma, step forward. You have shown great strength in the annihilation of our enemies. Yes, priestess. I live and die for the Jangura. This is why you must take charge of our greatest mission ever. You must head to the Chiwanga Kingdom at once. New targets were sent from Liam Niki, the king of the Ruku. Yes, great mother. He paid the king's ransom for the death of the heir to the throne of Chiwanga. This must be carried out at once. It is done, great mother. The death of the prince will steer them towards confusion and aid in our expansion to the west. Your wisdom is unmatched, my priestess. I shall move at once. Good! There's another task I need you to fulfill. This will be the most important task, Chayoma, as I Jengura. We must retrieve the Horn of Pihoko from the Takana tribe, and we must do so before the next full moon. The Takana? The Takanas are backstabbing traitors, but they are allies to the Babito and custodians of the Horn of Pihoko. The Ikuku, first elder of the Babito, will not agree with your request, Great Priestess. Your place is not to make suggestions, girl. Your duty is to do what the Jangura orders you to do. I apologize, my priestess. Your will is... Never in your existence should you question my orders. Uh, yes, Great Mother. I chose you specially to be a part of our great legacy because you have greatness within you. Don't make me regret it. Your will is my will. I live and die for the Jangura. We were the original custodians of the Horn until Omukama sold our destiny away. Now the time has come for us to reclaim the Horn and exploit its true power. Now, go fulfill your task. The royal family will never expect an attack coming from the east. Destroy anyone in your path. Assassin! Get ready, men! Zuberu, get the queen and the prince out of here! Yes, sir. Too slow! Who are you? How dare you attack the royal family? For the Jangura. 
The Jangura, a coven of disguised assassins, has chosen to pursue total dominance over all the other tribes. But sooner or later, the price of such ambitions will inevitably emerge. Chayoma herself begins to pay the price as her nights become sleepless, oh. haunted by nightmares. The terror she unleashed on enemies and victims takes a toll on her mind, burdening her heart. Never had such sleepless nights. I must see counsel for Nidiyama. Much later, at Sacred Lake Wamara. Apologies, Mother. I need to speak with you. Oh, speak. I have known no peace since my last mission. I am plagued and pestered by memories from the past. What in Nakiyama's name are you talking about? And there seems to be a particular face I keep seeing in these dreams. What nonsense is this? I will burn the fear within you. The only person you should fear is me. Stupid girl. How dare you fall prey to such weakness? Especially when we are at the brink of achieving our destiny? Now, put yourself together. It's time for you to head to Takana land and retrieve the horn. Yes, my priestess. The Takana will never know we are coming. The horn will not be heavily guarded. Now get out of my sight! Chayoma disguises her way into their midst. She finds her way into the shrine of Naichi. Finally, Nidiyama will be pleased. Ahem. We've been expecting you, Chayoma. My name is Lokerio, the spiritual diviner of the Turkana people. For generations, my ancestors have been keepers of this sacred horn you are about stealing. Huh? How is this possible? How did you know? You have no idea what destruction this will bring if the horn gets to the hands of Nidiyama. Steal from you? You are the ones who stole from us! Oh, get out of my way! Stop her! Huh? What is this? What is happening? What sort of sorcery? My power! Halt! Halt! Master Oi! Release the girl to me at once! As you wish, Great Master Oin. The blood is about to get thicker. Who are you? I have been seeing you in my dreams. What do you want from me? Why am I here? I have been silent long enough. You are safe, young lazy. I am Oin, first sentient of the lazy, guardian of the Earth Realm. Why do you call me Mlezi? Nidiyama is unaware of your true nature. All will be revealed in due time. But first, you must be purified. <coughs> your purpose is not to serve the Jangura. You are made for much more. The quest you embark on is false, deceitful and will result in total destruction. The Celestial Council has been watching and would have it no more. If your visions are true, why did the ancients allow all these... Uh, why should I trust you? Now listen. The Sacred Horn was born out of a sacrifice you cannot comprehend at this time. It was entrusted to the Turkanas many moons ago. After the fall of the tyrant Emperor Bukuku, the previous custodian of the Horn, it was taken from him because of his inordinate lust for power. You have not answered my question! The Horn commands great power, and Nidiyama is a descendant of Bukuku. She plans to use it for a very unholy crusade. Now wake up, young lazy. You will walk that path no more. My king! The Basoros are here! Get on with it. King Chuba, we have traveled far. 
after we heard the terrible news. We have already consulted the Oracle, and we know who is behind this atrocity. The Basoro Assassins, loyal elite strike force of the Basoro. King Juba, we are at your service. Let me see for myself, old priest. I want to know who dares challenge Chuba the Unbreakable. The incantation of the Basoro can never be wrong. It is as old as sand, and it covers the earth. I know that facial mark. So that witch Nidiyama is behind this. You assassins go ahead. I will follow with my army. We will wipe out the Papito and the Changura from existence. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed Chiyomo, Cause of a Jangura Muchon Graphic. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, like, share, drop a comment, and watch out for the next episode. Buy the graphic novel from our website, the link is in the description box below, and join on our next Kickstarter coming in July to obtain Volume 2. Thank you guys so much and see you soon.